Is that my home? I made a hundred dollars for the whole day. This is my home. I'm going to be a Karen. Actually, we're going to be dealing with Karens in today's game, Speak to the Manager. And this game has the most epic thumbnail of it. You can clearly see the Karen stereotype haircut. If you have that haircut, I'm not saying you're Karen, I'm just saying this is the stereotype on the game. I'm just very cool. And again, I saw this game being played by Lorenzi side. I'm like, I'm not gonna watch it. I will play this game too. So if you do want to watch Lauren's video, I will link it down below. But if we're looking at the description of this game, it says, tired of dealing with moody customers? Now is your chance to tell them how you really feel. This is not going to go really well, because sometimes when I used to work in customer service, you're like, mm-hmm. I'm sorry this happened to you, when in fact you're like, WHY ARE YOU TALKING TO ME?! And if you look at the video in the app store, this character is saying, I spent thousands of dollars here each year, give me a discount. I mean, if they're a loyal customer, personally I would be like, sure, but we have the okay fine or sorry no discounts. Okay, this is gonna get interesting. And I guess depending on what you say, you can get different things. My ex used to work here, what's his number? Oh, and we have GTFO, okay, you can say that. And I'm not allowed to tell, sorry. Listen, I don't know it, the situation, but I'm just not gonna tell you, you get it from your friends. I'm not your friend, I am just here to make money, to pay my rent. Okay, you know what, I think I'm enjoying this game. <laughs> And then apparently this character is asking what they should buy. Now, Muriel, I don't know, but I'm guessing if you're sick, chicken soup and medicine makes the most sense, but I kind of want to make the wrong decisions here. You know what? I think today is the day we choose violence. We're choosing violence. And then if we look at the pictures, it says, you are rude, I want to speak to the manager. Yeah, whatever, Karen, no way, lady. I'm not sure what the goal is, but we're gonna find out pretty soon. Someone's asking for a phone number. Grandpa, you go ask people your age, okay? I ain't interested in grandpa-ish. I'm just not ish. We have ill get out of here or sure. So we can only be rude or nice. And I think I want to go the rude route. And then we have more pictures. So it really is a choice game. I don't know what the 70 on 500 is or the safe. And then we have a world. I'm not sure what any of this means, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find out pretty soon. Again, there's quite a bit of things going on here. But the game does remind you, no need to be polite in this game. Are they being annoying and want to flip them off? Okay, this is your chance to be the store management simulator. Excellent. And it does have 1.5 thousand ratings at 4.2 stars, but the latest update was three years ago. So I'm kind of curious if this game is actually going to be any good. All right, let's go ahead and destroy them Karens. Lo look at all that money in the loading screen, my goodness. Welcome boss. Okay, that is, I guess that's me. Let me explain everything to you. Customers come to you with various claims. You decide how to handle those. Every choice can impact our cash value, okay? And our brand value. So if we're nasty, people won't necessarily come to our store. So we have to remember that. Together they form our business value. Oh. So there's a difference between being polite and nasty and you have to keep a reputation so the Google reviews don't put you down and one starts. So choose wisely and grow your business. All right, let's go. I spend thousands of dollars here each year. Give me a discount. There's a rubber ducky down there. Hello, rubber ducky. Okay, let's go ahead and say, okay, fine, and see the repercussion. I know I want to be mean, but I kind of want to see what happens if we're losing money. Okay, we're gaining reputation. We're only gaining here if we're being nice. My ex used to wear it here. So I can't give that to you. Get out of here. What you want? I kind of want to go rude. Let's go rude. <gasps> Reputation, oh, rude. Oh, she is angry. I'm very sick, what should I buy? Chicken soup, champagne and filet mignon. <coughs> Do I get to make more money? Kinda wanna make more money. Fancy, sometimes feeling better is in the soul and in champagne and filet mignon. <laughs> Let's go champagne and filet mignon. What? Thumbs down, we made her angry. Okay, I ate banana while I was shopping, so I don't have to pay, what? That's not how it works, you gotta pay for it. Give me money. Oh, we were rude and we still got money. She wasn't, she was angry though. Can I have a frequent shopper discount card? Yeah, if you shop here frequently, yes. Let's go ahead and, and give you that if you shop here frequently. <laughs> Otherwise, what's the point? I got a hundred monies. My next promotion is soon, got you. Is that my home? <laughs> I made a hundred dollars for the whole day. This is my home. Can we upgrade? I have 200 money. Can I fix? Okay, we, can, we can't We can fix anything. We can't do anything because it's 250 to fix the windows and 350 for the desktop. So we're still, we're still pretty poor. We can buy pets. Pets are expensive. I get it. Fair enough. We can't afford that. We can change careers. Okay, we have supermarket manager, airline manager, and DIY market manager. Okay, we definitely got to see all of these scenarios. And then we have life. Relationship level one. You're currently all alone. Why you gotta say it like that? That's 
so rude. All right, let's go ahead and start day two. Oh, we are at the airline. There's still no sound effects. I don't hear anything. Kitty editor, do you hear anything? Not for me. Can I take my miniature horse on the plane? No, That we have to say that's ridiculous. You'll have to pay extra. Maybe if it's in cargo? I mean, it does, she's not asking to have it on the plane with her. But yeah, if you want your pony in the cargo, you'll have to pay extra. Everybody's, what? Our reputation went down. Why? I'm a celebrity. Can I have first class? No, they put me in economy all the time. <laughs> Nothing's free. Whoa, my reputation keeps going down, but I make other money. I'm one pound over the weight limit. Can you give me a break? Yeah, of course. Please, no big deal. No need to be the Karen. There you go, give me reputation, thank you. There's a hovering money just moving around. I don't want that extra money. How safe are your planes, Joe is asking. Joe, you suspiciously look a lot like my actual husband, minus the beard, but you do look like my husband. They're the safest, okay, they're the safest, come on, let's go. You're A-okay. Do you offer vegetarian foods, ask Berta. Yes, we do. What? Less money, but more reputation. Okay, let's let's focus on our reputation here. Wait, I was supposed to be mean. Why am I being nice? I need to, I need to change that. We're changing that. We're changing it. This drill costs less at Ace. Do you price match? No. Do we look like a charity? That's what we're going for. Get out of here. Give me the money. And then I let one ad in and now the game froze. A little longer than a few minutes later. Should I get a refund? This shovel is broken. Oh, I should get a refund. She's demanding a refund, but it is broken, but you broke it. Get out of here. <laughs> we're making her cry. Oh, we're gonna make everyone angry now. Can you tell me more about bidets? They're great. Clean booty, happy life. That's my motto. They spray water at your butt, saving toilet paper. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to be rude about this one. And I don't think they're weird. I think a clean booty is a good thing. <laughs> they're good. They save you toilet paper. Okay, she happy, you good. And we get an ad. Don't let the ads in. Don't do it. I let it in to get rid of that nasty bubble that keeps floating everywhere. And then this dude. Can I have your phone number? Get out of here. No thanks. No, get out of here, sir. Oh, neutral. I said get out of here. Did I give it to him? Did I give it to him? Kitty editor, did I make a mistake? Did I give him my phone number? I don't know. I think I took the wrong thing. Do you have any toolboxes in stock? I'll grab it from the back or we're sold out. Don't ask me to, if it's not there, it's not there. So we're sold out. Goodbye. What? Oh. I thought that was the mean thing to do. Did I make money? <gasps> a new car. We need a new car. Son of a biscuit. Gotta watch an ad. <laughs> a few ads later. All right, so we haven't gotten to payday just yet. We only have 200 still? Festival manager. Okay, we need to do this bonus stage because I wanna be a festival manager and get 400 monies because I wanna see what a pet looks like. Many, 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 many ads later. Do you sell a backstage pass? Sure, it's $100 for two days or security guards sell them. Pretty sure the security guards don't sell them, but I need to make the money, so yeah, give me $100. He doesn't like it and we get an ad. What a trash game if you don't have ads turned off. We don't have a meter on top though, so I'm guessing the answers don't matter here and we're gonna make money regardless. Will it rain today? I don't know, Olivia. Depends on your mood. Wow, that is rude. You know, it's kind of just giving us rude answers here. So let's go ahead and say depends on your mood. Oh, I don't care. You're crying. Oh, she angry. When does Taylor Swift play? Didn't you buy the tickets? How am I supposed to know? I will tell you when you pay for that drink. Who? Excuse me. Let's go. Give me money. Oh, what? I don't know if I'm saying the right thing or the wrong thing. Where's the bathroom, Magda? You need to know. You, I have a diaper? Is that a question mark? I have a diaper? Is that, why am I questioning that? Right around the corner. That is a weird answer. Go around the corner, Magda. I, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna make money regardless. I'm here anyways. Tony, can I pay after the event? No, no, the event will never end. Give me money now. What? He's happy regardless. Stage complete. So we got 400 money and I kind of want to see what a pet looks like. So let's get a $500 pet, a rabbit. Okay, where's my bunny? Where's my bunny? Hello? Is it a hypothetical pet? There is no bunny on my screen. All right, let's go on day four and get our payday. All right, he says, I'm very poor and can't afford this. You have a tie though. You do look good in the tie. Here, take this discount or get a better job. <laughs> I have to be mean. I have to be mean. Get a better job. I'm sorry. That's so un-Canadian of me. I love your story. Can I give you a big tip? Yeah, clearly. I just told someone to get a better job and here I am taking extra money from people. I'm such a hypocrite. Yeah, give me the money. I need to make the money because I need a promotion. My dog ate my toilet paper. Can I have free? No, that's your problem. Get out of here. Teach your dog to chew on chew toys, not toilet paper. Will fried cheese make me fat? It depends on your lifestyle and your genetics. I just have to think of fried cheese and I get fat. 
Wow, you'll never be an Instagram model or if you eat balanced diet, you can eat that too. Well, you know what? I need to be a jerk. I need to be a jerk. I don't believe in this. <laughs> You're never gonna be an Instagram model. Get out of here. But we made money. <laughs> it's terrible. What do you want, Tony? I'm raising money for a billionaire's presidential campaign? Do you have 20 minutes to talk? No, get lost. Get out of here. I made money and reputation. I'm not raising money for no billionaire. All right, so we made some money and we got a bonus promotion. I'll take that. So let's see if we can actually fix our home and let's get those windows fixed up. Let's see that. That did not fix the windows. That was a carpet. Okay, we're still broke. Okay, this is really random because all I got was a screen that looked like this, which said sometime later. And then we have this screen at the clubs and it says myself, let me talk to her, wave at her, leave her alone. Let's wave and see what happens. Hello. Oh, she has a drink. Are we going to get creepy? Stage, com is that it? Huh? We got happiness. Okay, do I have a girlfriend? You are seeing a nice girl at the club. Okay, we just waved, we weren't too creepy. And we're back at the hardware store. I want to build a moat. Can you help? Why do you need a moat? Do you live in a castle? Are you putting crocodiles in there? Are you putting trash pandas? I bet you trash pandas will protect your castle. Look at us, we're just hanging around the moat, protecting it. You'll need a lot of supplies, you sound crazy. I mean, I would build a moat if I could afford it. You'll just need a lot of supplies, go get it. Go get yourself some supplies. Is that, hang on, there was an ax at the door. Kitty editor, let's rewind before Tony speaks. And there's an ax at the door and it says, try it. Which is very interesting. I don't know the whole point of that. Here's Johnny. I'm really broke right now. Can I have this for free? No, I would like to go to the store and get things for free, but no freeloaders. Get out of here. My store needs to make money because I need to make money. I'm looking for a lot of lubricant. Uh, it's not the right store. Maybe check the pharmacy? <laughs> have, um, what? Or Stacy can hook you up? Huh? Who's Stacy? Let's send her to the back of the store. I don't know what Stacy is selling. Maybe Stacy's having another business in the back and we make money. Go get Stacy. Go, go check out Stacy. Stacy has things we don't know about. Can you point me to the frozen food section? Bro, you can point at the exit or this is a hardware store. Both of them are sassy, but this is a hardware store. So go buy something else. Get out. Who are you? Olivia. These batteries are fake. They're made of plastic. Okay, here's your money back or who told you to buy them? No refunds. Here's your money. Uh, I need to be mean. The struggle is real. I think we have space to say no refunds. We can make money, lose a little reputation. There you go. That's, that's fine. Go get out of here. All right, our business value went up. That's a good thing for us. Somewhat later. You see, this is so weird. Oh, that's back our girlfriend. Do we talk to her? Do we free? Let's talk to our girlfriend. Hey girl, how do you got your drink? You dancing really cute though. How's my pet doing? Can we check on my pet? My pet needs to poo poo. Let's go for a walk, rabbit. Let's see how- Oh, there's my bunny! Hello, Aww. bunny. Don't get eaten by something. What do I do with you? I just look at you. We found money while walking our pet. It just wants me to click on things. All right, so now our pet doesn't have to poopies anymore, but we do have $1,600. Let's fix our home a bit. How's my girlfriend doing? Level two, wonderful. Can I buy it? Should I buy another pet? No, 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 no. Let's fix my home a little bit. Let's get a desktop. Nice. We still have the windows to fix. Let's let's fix the windows. Is it gonna fix it? No, we, we have new carpet. I should have bought another pet. But to be very honest, this game, if you have Wi-Fi turned off, is an absolute nightmare dumpster fire because the ads are everywhere. But if you do have Wi-Fi turned off, it's actually pretty entertaining. It's not as rude as I thought it could be. And the customers are actually pretty reasonable, so they're not really Karening. I feel like I was the bigger Karen, to be very honest. But yeah, I'm going to classify this game as an absolute dumpster fire just because of the amount of ads. If you want to watch more dumpster fire games, make sure you click up here if you want to catch a live stream that you may have missed. Make sure you check down here. Until then, I'll see you next time. Safari game.